welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. Because I want to have double hands. Oh, show me this. Um, but the reason why I've got the camera down so low is a few of you pointed out you couldn't really see the lengths of the dresses. So I thought, do you know what? You don't really want to see my face anyway, do you? No, you can. I'll just sneak back so that you can see the lengths better of stuff over there. So you can have a little, <laughs> hello, hello, how are you? You'd understand that reference if you've got small children around. Um, so today's video is the ever requested supermarket brand. So we've gone for Asda today. The reason why I love Asda is because I have a local one. I shop in there, get some groceries in there. I pop in there, mostly Lidl I go to. I've got hiccups guys. I've just drunk so much lemonade. Sorry, I do apologize. I can feel them coming, I'm like, <laughs> Um, so grab some nice cup of tea and some snacks and let's get into the video. So this is Asda, as I was saying. I find Asda have either really amazing things or it's super frumpy. Like I feel like there's no in between. Um, and at the minute I'm really loving their stuff and they've got some really reasonable dresses that actually look very much like more high-end brands that I've seen. So I wanted to show you them and also start off with this. So like I say, Get into the video also as well i've grabbed a couple of bags and a couple of pairs of shoes and stuff because one of the biggest questions i always get asked is rosie how would you wear it like what shoes would you wear with that um so i've grabbed a couple of pairs at the cupboard just to style it up to show you how i sort of wear them depending on what i'm doing where i'm going so let's get in as i said the first thing i want to show you was this gorgeous t-shirt now i tell you something i struggle with t-shirts because i find they either stick too much on my arms or the cut's really weird, or they just make me feel like the Michelin man, like I feel like just constant tire rolls. I've got to pull the skirt down a bit. I've got this t-shirt on, and this is £4.50 from Asda. You can get them in packs of two for £6 as well, which works out a bit cheaper. This black t-shirt, I tell you what, it is lovely, and the quality of it is gorgeous as well, such nice cotton. Um, so I got it in black for £4.50, and I wanted to pair it up with skirts. Now I find t-shirts, is lovely so if you're kind of like bigger busted or you carry more weight on the bottom and you want to wear something there's two pieces rather than just one dress because you struggle with it fitting all over a top and skirt you cannot go wrong so i got the skirt for 16 pound in a size 16 this t-shirt's in a size 16 for four pound 50 but as i say if you want to get them they had grey and pink and um, they also had a packet of white and black and then they had the two colours so you get two black two whites um, I suppose there'll be more colours depending on where you go or if you can have a little look online. If I can find them online, I will link them below. Um, so then I got this skirt. This was £16. Now I love this because it's got little pleats here that are stitched in like little darts, but it doesn't actually fly out to this part. Now the reason I want to show you this is because I am carrying a tiny bit of weight on my stomach now. I say tiny bit because to me it feels like I've put a lot of weight on, but in reality... It's not really that major, and I just find sometimes we put off wearing certain things if we don't like a certain area. In actual fact, it's not probably something that someone else would even take notice of. So sometimes you have got to come out of your comfort zone a little bit because I feel like we feel we put way much more pressure on ourselves than probably what other people see. So I thought, I'm wearing this skirt. I'm going to show you this skirt, and you're going to love it. So what I love about this is if you are feeling a little bit insecure, they have the darts. Now this is a flat bit here and then it will go out. So the skirt will kick out exactly where your belly would naturally go in. So it actually covers that area. Now if it flared out the whole way and come out like that, it will just stick out that way and it might make you feel a little bit, you know, I prefer them kind of skirts. As I say, I don't really care. Um, but I just wanted to show you this, I thought it was really nice. And it's only at the front. So then at the sides and the back, it doesn't have any pleats whatsoever. So it's really slimming. So you can go for that flary skirt, but you haven't got to feel like you're adding masses of weight. This is lovely. This is a midi length. This is gorgeous. Now, how I would start, see, <laughs> shouldn't drink lemonade before I come on. How I would style this would probably be one of two ways. So I would either, while it's still spring and it's still really, really um, quite cold, I'd probably put on a leather jacket. I got this for Christmas, this leather jacket. I will have a look. I'm going to do like a dupe video, I think, because I did have a couple of oh, tag from the t-shirt is on. So I did have a few people have a little bit of a moan. I shared this on Instagram. I didn't actually share it on Instagram. I showed it on my Instagram with me, one of my outfits of the day. 
and a couple of people got a little bit cross because they said the price of the jacket now these jackets are in the 200 pounds they are they are expensive but if you understand this you will get it too so i find where my arms are a little bit more chunky I find when I'm walking around, this bit here on a leather jacket always wears out. And a denim jacket, funny enough, I don't really wear denim jackets anymore. But I bought a really beautiful one from H&M, Real Leather, wore out. Had a Topshop one for years. That did last years, but it did wear out. So my friend, she's had hers for absolute years and she went, have you gone to All Saints? Immediately I heard the word All Saints and I was like, that's not happening. <laughs> I don't want to remortgage my house. Um, but she was like, no, do you know what? She was like, they are expensive. They're probably about £100 more than what you would pay in the other shops for a leather jacket. But mine has lasted absolute years. So I went in there and had a little look. And the quality they had, I can't remember the name of this one. I will pop it down below if I can. You can find it on there. But I love it because it's a crop length. Now, I find with jackets as well, they're always like, they just swamp and then hit. So they hit in here at my hips right here so i just feel a little bit more slimming in it and i do love it and it's something where it is a bit of an investment piece I, you know i don't come on here with designer items i don't come on here with designer clothes but there will just be the odd item that i don't mind paying more for and this was that so i got this for christmas i had christmas money put it together and i've got this jacket but if you are looking to invest on a jacket like that just a little tip because when i went on there i did say if you sign up to their newsletter which is so easy you just pop your email in they'll give you 15% discount, which if you're gonna get a jacket that expensive, it actually works out a really good deal. Anyway, so I don't even know why I said all that, but I just, I get awkward. I don't wanna come on here being like, oh, you know, I'm doing an Asda haul, which is like reasonably priced for everybody. And then I'm showing like a two and a half hundred pound jacket. That's just not who I am. Um, but it is because it was a Christmas gift and it's probably the most expensive thing I own in my wardrobe. Um, so anyway, I've got a little bag from Topshop. Um, I got this in the sale of ASOS after Christmas, and it's like a bum bag. I like to wear it across here. Now, I like this because I feel like it's easy. Like, when I'm out with the kids and stuff, I've got my money here. I find when I've got something, it's always knocking on my large hips at the side. Or if I'm going to London, something like that, going to random museums, I know where my money is, I know where everything is. So I wear this, and I probably pop on my Converse, like high-top Converse, if I can link any of this stuff, I will, but I don't know if I can. Um, so I'll have a little look because I'll try and find them on there because I know they're weird with sizes and I might get the wrong ones up, but I'll have a little look. Um, so I've got these Converse. I got these in the sale from Shoe last spring um, and I love these. They just look really, really nice with this kind of outfit. But if I'm also going for an Emmy look, but it's a bit more summery, I've also got these little like Dr. Martin sandals, which I normally wear. So then... It's got a bit of an edgy look to it, but it's, you know, it's nice and springy, getting into spring. But this is probably my more favourite choice of how I would style something up. I did even wear Dr. Martin boots in the winter and a pair of tights, so you can wear this all season. But in the summer or spring, I go super girly, and I got these cheap heels from TK Maxx. I think I've had a tenner for these. And they're little tanned leather ones. I'd probably pop these on or a little pair of my like flip flops. I've got like a little pair of like goldy look Haviana flip flops. Wear them or just some like little flat tan sandals. You haven't always got to wear a heel, but because these are a wedge, they don't feel like you're wearing a wedge. I've got my little bag here. This is a little DH gate one. <laughs> and then just a little cardigan from Primark. So these cardigans I shared with you on a previous video, they're six pound, they have near enough all colors and they're just lovely. So every time I pop in there and I see a different color that I don't have, I pick one up. So I got this in the car key last time. Still got the tag where I've not got to wear it yet. And just a nice little cardigan to pair this with. Or tight around your waist if you need it or put it in your bag in case you need it. Um, and yeah, just style it up like this. So, <laughs> I don't think you can see. Um, so that's how I style it up. Getting into spring because I just feel like, you know, if you've got to go shopping with the kids or, you know, summer, little pair of sunglasses on the head, you know, the vibe. Um, so that's the kind of thing I would wear. And they'd be the kind of things I would also wear so I don't go out buying tons of shoes. I've probably got about five pairs that I wear consistently. So I've got two pair of boots, which are the Converse boots and my Dr. Martins. I've got some flat sandals, them high sandals, my chunky sandals, and I've got like flip-flops and trainers kind of thing so it's like and i will literally wear them with every different outfit i don't buy different colored shoes per outfit kind of thing um so 
<laughs> this is the first one. Gonna get into the second one. So the second one I got was a dress. Now this is beautiful. Love the pattern of this. Now this was 18 pound, but I saw almost an identical dress like this in Zara for a lot more money. But as we know, it's gonna be a bit more size inclusive and a bit more fitting as it's coming from Asda rather than Zara. I have got like a pair of spank things. I always get asked where these are from as well and what the holds are like on them. So these are from Primark. I got these years ago. I think these are the ones that they do for nine pound in there now. When I bought them, they were a fiver. Now, to be honest with you, I've had mixed reviews. I've had people message me back saying that they've bought them and they've been lovely or they've rolled down. Mine rolled down a little bit here. They never used to. They roll down a bit here. Now, I think the give on them is a little bit gone. Now, I don't really wear these to suck me in because even though I'm all squishy, it kind of makes the squish a bit smoother, but it doesn't really hold me in. I'm not massively huge around this area. I've obviously got like my chubby bit here, but these don't really look, I mean, they're really quite loose. They don't hold you in. If anything, they just make you feel a little bit secure and a little bit smooth. And some people have bought them wanting the real sucking, like these aren't like that. So I wouldn't recommend for that at all. I would only recommend if you just want a little bit of smoothing. I mean, you can still see all my lumps and bumps in these because they are just really quite, they're not super, super tight. They're not gonna suck you in. I have got a pair from Marks and Spencers and I like am um, super svelte. I mean, this area here looks like my waist is about that big in it, but they are so uncomfortable and I don't feel the need to be walking around like that because I don't look like that. Nine times out of 10, I don't even wear these. I'll just wear my like, you know, normal knickers, belly hanging over the top of them, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I just wear these more to cover me up on the camera because some people are a little bit, oh my God, there's a naked lady otherwise. Just normal bra from Asda, which definitely needs replacing, I think. It doesn't really fit great. So, let's get in. I keep saying, let's get in. I've been running line. Let's get in. So, I've got my Asda wrap dress. This is such a nice pattern. It just makes me happy when the skies are grey. I love it when it's a wrap dress because then you get to tighten it up. I get to eat loads of cake in the winter, wear this with tights and boots. And in the summer, I can, if I lose a bit of weight, because I always bounce up and down. I can just tie it in a little bit tighter. This is in a size 16 as well. It's got the ruffle round the top. I like the little cut on this. Ooh, getting hot already. <laughs> ah, this would definitely be mostly being, being worn with them little like, uh, probably my flip flops, so little tan sandals. This would be a lovely little school run dress and I'll show you why. People sometimes go, Rosie, dresses are so fussy. Like why do you choose dresses if you're like, you know, if you want convenience? Dresses is a whole outfit. You don't need to think of nothing else. Does that trousers go? Do I need to iron my trousers or my shirt? It's one dress. If you can just hang it out straight away from washing it and it doesn't even need ironing, then bonus. The sleeves on this are really lovely. We've got the little tiny puff sleeve here. I always harp on about how I like the little bit of a puff there. Even to my waist, makes me look smaller here. Even to my hips, shall I say. Um, it's got a ruffle detail here which is really, really nice around the top. It isn't too booby. I dare say you probably could pin that as well if you wanted to, but let's release the demons. Um, it's got the little ruffle that comes across around the front here and it goes down to a midi length. This is beautiful. It cuts really nice on the bum. It's not too clingy. It's got a little bit of ruching because it's tied up. I think naturally a, a wrap dress is. The pattern, is so so pretty like I love that pattern that's so lovely and obviously you could like pick out colors of this with the lilac and stuff if you want to do hat little handbags and stuff like that but this is 18 pound and I thought for under 20 quid I feel like this sort of time in life I look around the shops and I'm really struggling to find dresses that are under 20 pounds at the moment I feel like the price of everything has just gone up and I feel like the standard price for a dress now in most like, high street shops is like 35 pound which used to be so much cheaper than that so yeah, I thought this was really lovely. I did get one, I think it's in the same design, like same shape, but it's a different pattern. I don't know if this one was 18 pounds as well. Let's have a little look. Let's have a butcher's. Yeah, I think it's in the same design because I saw it, but all of the dresses they had in there were really short, like really short. And sometimes I know you guys don't want to see the short dresses. This was 18 as well, but I love the black design of this. I thought this was really pretty as well because it's really spring. And a little tip is as well, if you are feeling a little bit conscious 
and you want to wear a dress or you want to wear bright colours, if you get something with a black background in it, it's very, very slimming. It sort of like helps in that area if you don't want it, if you feel a bit conscious. I mean, I will wear all the bright colours and whatever. Like I say, I'm past that stage in my life. I actually just do, do not care. I wear what I want, when I want, and I just feel amazing in most things. But I do get, because I was obviously in that place too, you may not feel like that. But look how slimming this black is. And it's still got the pop of colour in it. It's really nice. It's got the ruffle again, but it, it does. It's much more slimming than the other dress. Um, it's much more... Uh, can see and the thing is as well with this because it's got the bright pops of colors you could even wear this with like a bright pair of sunglasses maybe some bright sandals if you want or some jewelry tie your hair up have some nice like dangly earrings with this it would look really lovely and so yeah again same leg for the same ruffle across it but i thought this was really really lovely and i feel like this is way more transitional as well into the winter and summer because you can obviously wear this with some black tights I think it's quite smart for work as well obviously it depends on obviously it's not an office dress but if you're like a ta or something you can or a teacher and you can wear kind of stuff like this it's still super smart but it isn't you know really strict looking it's really really nice so i like this dress as well <laughs> i've not shut up for the last 15 minutes so i will let you go <clears throat> pardon me um hiccups and coffee and there you go it's spring, so the season always changing. So this has been my little Asda haul. Let me know if you see anything in any of the shops that you really like the look of and you want to see what it looks like on, because I know some things just look so different. I done my H&M haul last week, and genuinely, I shared the links on my Instagram, and there were so many of you that were like, Rosie, the dress looks completely different on the model. I would never have known it was going to look like that on my body. It looks like it's a dress that's made for very, very slim women. So yet yeah, it doesn't... But actually, some of you preferred it on a curvy model. Some of you preferred it, obviously, maybe on the slimmer model. I don't know. But that's what the feedback I was getting. So sometimes you look online and things just don't look right. Especially if you go on the Zara website. Because they're like modelling hats on their feet and stuff. It's like the weirdest editorial pictures that they take. Um, so yeah, I just thought if there's anything that you really like the look of in a shop. And you really want to just on my Instagram... Just let me know in the DMs or comments, whatever. And then I'll, I can obviously go and have a look. I am still having a little look on m and Struggling with MS a little bit because I find in the dresses that I like all basically look like the same thing, which probably is the same. You probably go, Rosie, that's what you always do. Um, but I am trying to pick what is my favourite stuff. So when I went on this, I think it's going to be best if I go into a big store and have an actual look myself. So that's what I'm going to aim to do. I thought I'd do as for this week. So hopefully you enjoyed this haul, guys. I've been Rosie Henshaw. If I can leave any of the links below, I'll go on and have a little look and find them. I know I'm terrible with remembering, but I will remember. And if I can find them, I'll pop them below in the description. Um, so I've been Rosie Henshaw. See you later. Take care. Bye. I love my dress. See you later. Take care. Bye.